everyone dev here coming at you with another video today guys I thought we'd talk about something new I've been using with my whole camera gear and whole camera shelf to help me get better footage. We're gonna be talking about ND filters and I just picked one up for my camera that hooks on to my lens adapter for my Sony ZV-1. Now, the Sony ZV-1 does come with a built-in ND filter. It's good, but it doesn't, I can't, like when it's really bright out like it is today, I can't give it the right like depth of field and stuff that I like when I shoot videos. And what I mean by depth of field is uh, how blurry the background is compared to me. Like, I should be the main focus of the video since I'm talking to you guys. An ND filter is probably one of the best tools for a filmmaker uh, to use. It's like sunglasses for your camera. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos out there that'll explain that, but there are two types of ND filters. All right, so the two types of ND filters are actually, one's called fixed NVD filter, and one's called variable ND filter. And right now I'm actually using a variable ND filter. As you can see, by twisting it, I can make it darker and switch it back and forth to get the picture I want with, the, with this camera and keep all my aperture settings to the right level. The fixed is a little bit different. It's where it's fixed. You can't turn it and change it in any way. So you have to buy like a bunch of them and then you have to take them off and put them on if one does not work for the footage that you're trying to get. So I recommend variable ND filters. This one was pretty cheap on Amazon. If I can, I will link it down in the description or just check out ND filters and make sure you look up the millimeter size of your camera so you know what what size to get. A really nice autumn fall out. It's really nice and cool. It's actually getting really cold out lately. No, I'm just curious. Can you drink coffee late at night? I'm going to anyways. ND filters are a YouTuber's best friend, especially if you film a lot outside. They make them for GoPros, they make them for drones. Uh, I actually have one here, for example. That's an ND filter. This one's actually a fixed ND filter. I should have got this one in. Uh, I should have got this one in uh, variable as well. Um, but this one is actually for my photography camera. Fits perfectly on that. It's gonna go great for uh, doing. Uh, Big landscapes outside, big landscape pictures. So let me know what you guys think about the ND filter. I know we're not outside, but I'm using a big bright light and I thought it helps inside as well, especially if you're using big lighting like this. And um, I'm trying to do like a new setup. I'm gonna do some things in the background, but as of right now, this is what we're going with. So yeah, this is what we're going with for the YouTube we're gonna do this type of setup I'm gonna work on the background um, I like this because I'm actually standing and I can talk more freely in and it doesn't feel like I'm sitting down we're gonna still do the desk in the background um stuff like that I got a lot of stuff planned for you guys this year for all time I plan on doing a lot of orchards going to many different orchards in Michigan and trying different orchards uh, I actually got some plan for this Sunday we're going up to a vassar area there's an orchard up there we're gonna check out but it was just all in all it's gonna be fun I love fall time but fall time is so short and it goes by like that that it's kind of hard to make a lot of videos and go through especially when you work at haunt like I do and try to get more stuff in there but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video 
um, getting back into video making. I kind of missed it after a while, but it was kind of good to take a break because it got my creative juices uh, flowing again. And like I said, one day we will go full time again and make videos daily. If not, we will go every other day, but right now it's three days a week. You guys are seeing this on a Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, remember to subscribe. And with that being said, get your foot out the door and explore. Catch you guys in the next one. And if you have any questions about filmmaking or cameras, let me know and I will see what I can do to help. Because I'm learning too, but I have a pretty good knowledge of cameras in general. So yeah, let me know down in the comments if you would like any help and we can figure it out together. Google and YouTube are your best friends when it comes to learning how to make great videos with the equipment you have. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.